Hi friends, I am starting a new experiment with the LedPod Max, but this video is not exactly about plants. This is about setting up the garden with the NetPods and seedlings. The LedPod Max comes with two trays, one with small 21 holes and the other one with two wide holes and one and a half inch NetPod cups. Finding the sponge that is compatible with a one and a half inch net pot is either difficult or often expensive. So I am using Leco, also known as Clay Pebbles, also known as Hydroton, which is comparatively economical, easy to use, and works with any net pot size. I am demonstrating it for lead pot mags, but the same technique can be applied wherever you use net pot. For example, let us grow, I harvest, garden, all use net pot or similar setup. So you can apply this technique with any of them. In this process, first I am using one of my regular hydroponic systems such as Aero Garden to make the seedlings. You can use any hydroponic system of your choice or the seed starting tray that comes with Aero Garden or the traditional seed starters with sponges or rock wool. I have a tomato plant and a pepper plant in this Aero Garden that I started from seed and they are ready to transplant. Here are the pots. I just took them from Aero Garden. Now I am going to transplant these into this lead pot max. I am going to place them into these net pot cups and to give support to these pots I am going to use clay pebbles. This is also called as Leca as well as Hydroton. I already washed it thoroughly. Always make sure to wash the clay pebbles. I always see lots of residue on these clay pebbles. So, Wash and remove all that residue thoroughly from these clay pebbles. We don't want that residue go and stuck on the pump inside the lead pot max. So always wash it. Now I am going to drop this clay pebble into this lead pot cup. There are a lot of gaps on this pot. So some of the pebbles are dropping off. The smaller ones are dropping off. That's okay. I'll try to I'll try to use the bigger ones. I think this is good. Nice. I'm just trying to cover the gaps as much as possible so that the light won't pass through. I'll repeat the same for the other pod as well. I already have a cover on this. I think this is good. I covered as much as possible. Now this goes here. That's it. The garden is all set and good to go. It's been 25 days. The Leca setup is working very well and the plants are growing very nice here. Even though it looks a lot of work, it is actually easy peasy once you get used to it. And it is very economical, so it is definitely worth giving it a try and follow this technique. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.